Chelsea have big ambitions in the UEFA Women's Champions League this season. They have to be considered among the contenders could they reach the final again as they did in 2021. Retain an excellent attitude it's to their great credit. Anik now. The ball by Chankovic. Wrighton looks to pull it back, and Ingle was there! And there's the opener. Scored by the player who is the captain for the night, Sophie Ingle. Placed that with precision. The captain took up a great position, and in truth, there was nobody anywhere nearer, really was there, from a defensive point of view. Deflection maybe helped out Chelsea there. Took it into the path of Ingle, but for Paris is later on tonight at eight o'clock. Kerr got to it first. It's pushed wide by Williams. Good save by the American in goal for Vlasny. Shot by Guro Wright. Plenty in the box here for Chelsea. A deep delivery over towards Ingle. Foul by Esmeralda Franja. Chelsea have taken it quickly here and have a second, or do they? Yeah. Well, the. The Lasnia players unhappy that the referee allowed for that to be taken quickly. Great movement there from Frank Kirby. Caught them napping at the back, and it was a simple finish for the England internet. Referee happy with something here. in the box here, it was now and who got the header on target, but it was straight at Williams, who would have been grateful for that. Rather trying to ease her into the side gently while she learns the English language. The manager feeling that a really solid command of the language will really help her in terms of acclimatising to Chelsea and English football. Right in the player, brought down. International Alexandra Popovic. And previously played for Tomiris Tura. Final minute then of the half. There's a touch on that. Chelsea are appealing for a corner, which they will get. Did well there, the goalkeeper. Wouldn't have been easy that. It's Kirby's pass. Early ball in from Fleming was a beauty over towards Kerr. Loves that type of service. Jesse Fleming. That's a fantastic ball. And not quite the third goal, though. Sam Kerr, who couldn't quite get it on target. Wonderful cross in there, though, by Yellen. And it now. Kirby's done well here and has options in the box. Over towards Kerr. Again, they defend their six-yard box well there. She's been frustrated. Kirby. Teddy set with the ball over. And it dropped for Kerr. Who got the shot away quickly. Chankovic with the ball in. Did get the shot away really quickly there, but the danger was sensed by Genie. Got plenty to be proud of, despite losing every game so far in the group stage as Wrighton swings one in dangerously. 
Jesse Fleming looking to get on the end of it. James Kerr. Now, and Svitkova's taken up a great position. Really well worked, Chelsea goal. And the flag is up. James on target, but fairly comfortable save. Clear by Franja, and it just gives possession straight back to Chelsea, though. It's a fantastic cross, and it results in the third goal. Svitkova with it. Well, they've been knocking on the door the entire second half, Emma Hayes' side. Took up a good position, and that time the goalkeeper just couldn't quite get out quickly enough. Maybe wasn't helped out too much by the defenders. But the ball in by Cankovic was exquisite, wasn't it? Right on the money. 3-0 Chelsea. Carter's waiting in the middle, Svitkova and Kerr were there too. The referee here. He's given Chelsea the decision. Given the handball, suggestion it came off the chest. It's difficult for us to tell from that angle, isn't it? So Maram Yelda to make it four here for Chelsea. Which she does with ease. A well-taken penalty, and it smiles all round for the WSL champions. Uh, heading through to the quarter-finals. There was no doubt about that before this was taken. But that gives a comprehensive look to the scoreline, doesn't it? 4-0 Chelsea. And the final whistle, surely imminent here now and there it is Chelsea have done the job through to the quarter-finals they go they confirm qualification with the game to spare and there's still a possibility they could confirm top spot tonight if Paris don't beat Real Madrid in the late kickoff in Group A